Hi guys, welcome to my Skywatch Sue's channel. This is Robin and Daryl again, and it's been like five minutes since we opened the last, we finished the last jar. We're going to do another one because he wants to open a jar. We're doing jewelry jar number 157. If you see anything in this jar you'd like, leave us a comment under the comment section of this video with a timestamp, a description, and a, the amount of the item. This helps me identify specifically what item that you want. In case you give me a timestamp in between items. Please do the colon in between the numbers. It helps me to locate the item fast. If not, I will do it for you underneath your comment. I will put that and then tell you if it's yours or not. Not this particular one, but this is just the minute and second that it was seen in the video. If you've not done business with me before, email me at myskywatch2 at gmail.com. Provide me this information, your PayPal email your shipping address, your YouTube name, your full name first and last so I can connect you with your YouTube name as well as for your shipping address purposes. We ship only in the U.S. and shipping is a flat rate of $5. When you receive an invoice, it will be a charge with shipping of $5 no matter how much or how little you ordered. Well, with that being said, how do we invoice? We invoice at the first of the month or at or at $100 in sales, whichever occurs first. Sometimes I don't quite make it at the $100 in sale because I was backed up from vacation, so I was kind of I'm late this month. But you will definitely get an invoice at the first of the month of uh, June, because we're in May, yes, in June. Once I get caught up, if your sales have gone to 100 or over, you'll go, I'll go ahead and send an invoice. The exception is if you need something immediately, please email me and let me know what items you need immediately. I will invoice you and as soon as you pay, I will clean the jewelry and ship it out. So that's how we invoice. Like I said, if you don't have this PayPal email, that's fine. A lot of people just pay as a guest on PayPal. I just need an email from you. So once you email me at this, I'll have an email. And I set up shipping in another system, so that's why I need your full name and shipping address. That way, if you tell me in an email that you're, what your shipping address and you haven't changed it in PayPal or somewhere, I'll have the right shipping address. And if any of your information, if you've been doing business with me for a while and your information has changed, please let me know that too. So with that being said, we're gonna do the jewelry jar roll. It's at seven pounds, eight ounce. This is what we see in the stores. I'm gonna lift this up. When we look at a jar, mainly I look to see if it's loaded with the uh, shell and uh, Mardi Gras. And if it's not, then I usually go ahead and buy it. This is a pretty heavy one. They can weigh anywhere from five pounds to eight pounds or nine pounds, depending on what's in there. This one's a seven pound, eight ounce. So let's get going with the jewelry jar, honey. Okay. And while you're opening and dumping, I'm gonna show just a couple of things Oops. to keep the video going. But first. Oh, you need your thing. I need you to get me a tub. Oh, <laughs> okay. This is the first thing I have this little Hello Kitty with a peridot colored flower in it. There's the back. It's an excellent shape on this pretty little chain. The chain says it's 925. I don't think it is. I think it's maybe one of those Chinese chains, but we will test it. I could be wrong. That would be nice. I like to be wrong when it comes to things like that. So let's see. Right off the bat, I can see brass. So we'll test it. There is a Chinese company out there that is called 925. So they can label their stuff 925 and get away with it. You can see it disappeared. It's not 925. So, 
but this is still a pretty chain. It's nice and silver. Now the lobster claw is not labeled. So like I said, I think that's just their tag for their company called 925. So we'll do this pretty little necklace. It is 20 inches in length. We'll do it for $10. Hello kitty. Very cute. The next one is a little minimalist um, Zuni pendant. There's the back. Go ahead, honey. Let him rip. He's going to make some noise. This is on a sterling chain. It's marked 925 there. And I think that's the only place. Check. You can just tell the chain is curling. I will test it. This is a hard one to rub. Lift that off and show that it's sterling. Let's see uh. that. So you can see the red through there. It's very faint because the, the rub is faint because the chain is um, very dainty. But you can see the red. Come on, here's the red, so that is sterling. And then this little Zuni. And it, definitely sterling. See the red there. Do this one for fifteen. Nine two five. The next is a statement necklace. Lobster claw class and extender with the bead. I'm going to undo it. Extend it all the way so I can measure it. You've got the green, the peachy color, the yellow, the coral color, clear rhinestones in there. Everything appears to be there. Hooked up in good shape. Here's the back. It's in excellent condition. It is 18 inches fully extended. Maybe a little more. Let's see again. Oh yeah. More like 19 inches fully extended. We'll do this one for five. Okay, here's my lot I'm going to entangle. <laughs> but this was in there, and it needs to be restrung, but it's very pretty. Gold tone. Dollar in the Hobby Lot. For you lucky people who know how to restring. Okay, I've got to go and untangle, so I might untangle just for a minute just to show you what I like to do is to get the earrings out first. Those almost look silver, too. That's exciting. Mm. No. They're brass. They're pretty. 
Those are pretty too. I'll quit showing you the single earrings. <laughs> get busy. So this is what I like to do. I like to get out the single earrings. They usually cause a lot of problems with the chains and things. That kind of helps to loosen things up when you get the earrings out. Not real good, but somewhat. So here's some more. And here's some more hooking. Looks like there's going to be a lot of earrings in this lot. I don't know what's going on there. Let's see if I can get this one out at least. Just let you guys kind of know what we do. These are gorgeous. I get excited when I'm looking at earrings. What can I say? Let's see, here's some more. I'm going to take that little thingy off and see if I can rescue something. Gee whiz. Hair. Yeah. Let y'all untangle with me for a minute and you can turn this off. Go get you something to eat. Get you a snack. Whatever you want to. Oh my God, look at these earrings. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, honey. Oh, uh, I yeah. hope we have a match. We just started right here. Oh, those might have to be mine. Oh, golly. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah, see, now you're getting to see the excitement, earrings. These are pretty too. Earrings. Oh, yeah. Don't show them. I did to you. I know, but we got to be good. I just I stand on here so they can see what we go through. That's what we do after we open the jar up. I'm moaning, groaning. But all the pretty stuff and so like I said if what no oh I was thinking that was an earring okay there's one necklace undone see it's not so bad this is very calming to me I guess some people it wouldn't be they'd be Rough housing the jewelry. Right, see here, the earrings got caught. Came right on out, didn't it? That's why I said get those earrings out as soon as you can because they cause a lot of problems. And it's fun looking at them <laughs> and saying, Oh, I hope I get a match. Another one, this one's still tangled up with the. Don't fight with things, just kind of let the pieces fall where they fall and work with them. You'll be a lot happier that way. Ah, see, here's another one all tangled up in there. Like I said, if you don't like this part of the video, just turn it off. I just want you to experience Ooh, our fun. <laughs> we think it's fun. We're kind of weird, I guess. But well, here's one that's come loose. Oh, this is neat. I made an earring with snow, but it looks like uh, corks from a wine bottle. Mm -hmm. I guess if you ever went swimming and it well, came cork up is your, very popular, you yeah, know. If, it, if it, you went swimming and it fell off your neck, it'd float. I know. <laughs> That's, that's neat. That's different. And we didn't go to the court thing downtown in New Orleans like we planned to. No, we didn't. We'll have to go back. <laughs> Road trip. Yep. Oh, this is New Orleans was a lot of fun. We enjoyed it. Yeah. Oh, this is pretty. Mostly it's because of the grandkids yeah. and my, my son. And the grandkids. Oh, he's torturing me over here, y'all. But now we got a good excuse to go back down to Port Canaveral. Yeah, our grandson went to work in Port Canaveral. Temporarily. Temporarily. With NASA. With NASA. For the, the rocket that just got delivered down there. Yeah, Artemis. Artemis Pro rocket. Yeah, yeah part of Artemis. Project or whatever. Yep. 
That's pretty cool, huh? Yep. Never dreamed that my grandson would be doing that. Well, Jeff does it too. Well, I know, but yeah. that's Jeff. I mean, he's been at it. He's been shocking me for years. What can I say? So is Thomas. I just really go getters. Come on. Ooh, that's pretty. Chain. Cheers. More earrings. After I get all the earrings out, I'll be able to untangle everything. Not too bad, not too bad. And there's some more earrings, causing more problems. And we just throw the earrings in the bin. And, yeah, I'm still fighting with this one earring, it's driving me crazy. I want it out of here. It's not cooperating because I have to do something with this. So, I need to do something with that because it just is causing problems. This earring continues to get caught up and everything. Oops, here's another one. Sorry, it's getting quiet. What can we talk about? What's your favorite ride at Universal? Who talking to me? Yeah, you. Anyone where I'm next to you. Oh, that ain't no fun. Come on. Tell me. They're all fun. Just... Well, my favorite ride is Harry Potter and the riding on the broomstick. That ought to tell you a lot. <laughs> Oh, it's like you're really flying. I guess that's what I like about it. I also enjoy the uh, Jurassic, what's it called? The rat, rat, river. river? Yeah. I don't know. It's the Jurassic ride that um, at the very end you'll get wet because it... It starts out really nice in the beginning. You're just kind of floating down the river, and then it goes through the other stuff and gets exciting, and then it climbs this great big old tall thing, and then it just lets go, and you drop down into water. Water splashes back on you. And if it's 80 and 90 degrees there when you go, you'll appreciate that. Yeah. Now, the one ride we haven't ridden... And I had all intention of getting on while we were there, and we never made it, was the barge from Popeye. Now that ride, you're definitely going to get wet. And we kept trying to save it for the end, but we were on the wrong side of the park because it's on the adventure side. Yeah. Yeah. Where King Kong and... Yep. Yep. All the yep. fun rides. Yep, yep, yep. And that's the side we go in first and ride everything else, but we didn't want to get... And it's at the very beginning, so you'd get wet at the beginning, and we didn't want to do that. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be a bad time. Move on. We, uh, we'd get to the other side of the park, and then we'd be too tired after 10,000 steps later. I'd pushed my limit. My feet and legs hurt too bad. That's the downside of getting old in theme parks. Because you do a lot of walking there, but boy, I tell you, if I lived there, I'd have me a year-round pass, and I'd be over there every day. At least just to even walk. And maybe go to Finnegan's. And get me a Reuben and a... Um, what was that beer called? Dragon's? Milk, milk White, White 
Milk wow. white stout, yeah. Oh, that was a very smooth beer. And we have been able to find it. We found it at Publix. We found it at Total Wine. We found it at, at Lowe's. At Lowe's. Grocery store, not Lowe's Hardware yeah, store. Lowe's. <laughs> yeah, Lowe's grocery store. There's another one that's hooked on to that one neck. What is this? You still playing with that pile of game yet? Well, hey, I just undid one. You gave me a bunch of little chains, honey. You give me the hard stuff. You move on to the fun stuff. Yeah, mine says fun stuff when I see it. That's right. I'm almost done, though. They saw what a big mess it was. Look at all them little bracelets. Okay, I'm gonna do a video. This the rest of the video. This video is just gonna be us untangling and talking. Like I said, if you don't want to watch this, you don't have to. You can turn it off. Ooh. And um, come back when we've gotten all the jewelry out. And then, at least I got it to there. Another earring. Here's a bead. I think this is silver in here. You usually do find silver in tangles like this. But don't hold your breath. Oh, it's got a little CZ too. We think that's CZ. Let's test it. Right now, I want to know how careful I need to be. And it's CZ. But that's okay, because I think it's on a sterling chain. And I'm trying to keep it from getting kinked. And what is this? So how do you guys feel about untangling? Because if you want a jewelry jar, this is what you're going to go through. Yeah. We're uh, not going to untangle it for you. You're going to get it just like we get it. Yeah, and have the fun. So let's uh, get our subscribers built up to a thousand so we can, uh, and maybe we'll get brave and go online one, go live one time. But it won't be for hours, that's for sure. I have to have my breaks. And we know I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just leave you there or I'll fall asleep. Well, there's. That's a unique one. I've not seen one like this before. Alright, where's the latch? If I can find the latch. Of course, it's way down here. Yeah, this is silver. I can see the markings. I'm sorry. I'm not sharing your fun. But undo it. And try to pull it out. Ooh, look at there. It's a lot of work, but this is fun for us. This is our hobby. This is our, I don't know, we just enjoy doing it. I'm so glad. I used to do this by myself, and I used to leave the stuff laid out so he could see it in the morning when he got up. He got his curiosity going, and then he decided he wanted to join me, and that was how it all started. That's different, different, different. Oh, got all bugs. <laughs> all right, quit, quit torturing them. They can't see it. But yeah, this is how we talk. Look at that one. Mm. I think that's Jade. It. 
You know what I'm looking for? I'm looking for that sparkly necklace that I sold one time. The one I can't quit thinking about. I probably done. I'd already started on another one. Oh, yeah. Don't show it to me. Put it somewhere. Well, get your pile out of them. You're not done yet till you get it all put up. Oh. It's mean to me, y'all. All right. So you've had almost 30 minutes of this nonsense. <laughs> so we're going to, don't you dare. Don't even think it. I can't help it. You put your paw set in front of you and undo it. Then you don't have anywhere to put the jewelry. Huh. Yeah, now we're fussing at each other. No, we're not. Here we are. No, we're Come not. on, let's get some drama in here. Drama llama? Drama llama. Drama mama. That's you. Yeah, right. I'm about as drama as... Yep. <laughs> Let's see. As what? What's slow? As a snail? A sloth. Sloth. That's my drama. There it is. There it is. Okay. Alright, guys. Uh, we'll... The next video will be, um, still got that one to do. The next video will be us uh, showing the jewelry. So thank you for spending your time with us. This is what we do before we show the jewelry. We just get it all out there, and then we can start showing it. So thank you guys for joining us. If you like these type of videos, give us a thumbs up. If you like this little part where we just kind of let you see what we do, um, after we open the jar and we have to get the jewelry out and untangle it because you see it's already taken whole 30 minutes and uh, we do that behind the scene we just this time thought we would talk and show you what we go through it's not a bad thing it's That's just fun. probably something you're not having fun watching so but they're not watching they're having to listen so yeah so, see you guys in a few, and you have a great few minutes before we come back. Bye. Bye-bye.